Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. Not long ago here at Mustard Seed, we had a client who had all of their organization's event data stored on Google Calendar. Uh, this is a really cool thing for them because they host all their email there, they do a lot of their workflow stuff on Google, and they wanted to continue using Google Calendar because it was so flexible and how it integrated uh, into the rest of their organization. They loved it. The problem is we were building them a Drupal site and they wanted a lot of their event data on their Drupal site as well. Now we could have done sort of the uh, really ugly, not cool thing of embedding the Google Calendar in a frame, just in a Drupal node, and we'd be done, right? Problem with that is we can't really use that event data other places on the site then. We can't do things like event signups very easily. Uh, we can't uh, promote those events to the front page. We can't filter them using views. We can't do any of that stuff if they never actually are nodes on our Drupal site. So instead, what we wanted to do is we wanted to somehow make them nodes on the Drupal site. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. We're going to look at, uh, you can do this with anything that has an iCal feed, uh, which is uh, just a, a feed coming out of your calendar um, somewhere else. And we're going we're to show you how to bring those in as nodes onto your Drupal site and to actually use that data and uh, make it data you can manipulate in Drupal itself. So let's do that. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right in. The biggest tool we need to do this is a module called Feed API. Uh, Feed API is an aggregation module that allows you to import content uh, onto your site. Uh, now, normally, uh, without uh, Feed API node, which is an add-on module uh, that comes with the Feed API package, it'll just import things just like aggregator, uh, Drupal core aggregator module does. Uh, but we're going to use something called Feed API node that comes with this package uh, to actually create the imported events as nodes. So we need Feed, feed API, and then we need two add-on modules. We need Feed element, element Mapper. What this allows you to do is to take out different parts of any feed and map them to CCK fields. This is really cool because it allows us to map our date fields from the iCal feed uh, into uh, our CCK date field so it can actually display on a calendar and stuff. So you need Feed Element Mapper. You also need iCal Feed Parser. Uh, feed API comes with a bunch of parsers uh, in and of themselves. A parser basically sorts out all the data uh, and organizes it so you can read it. Uh, iCal Feed Parser is made specifically to work with iCal feeds. Uh, so we need iCal Feed Parser to do it as well. Uh, and so if I look at my module page on my site here, uh, you'll see that I have all of these enabled. Um, feed API, um, like I say, we have to enable Feed API node if we actually want these to be um, nodes on your site. Uh, and then we also have the iCal parser and the feed API mapper both enabled as well uh, to let us do this. So here's the Google Calendar I'm going to import. Uh, it's just a, a calendar where I've got a bunch of test data in it. Uh, I've got some repeating events. This is very cool. This even works with repeating events off of Google. Um, and so here's my events. So what I'm going to do um, in, in a minute, I'm going to grab my iCal feed from here and we'll import this. But let's look at the setup right now. We're going to need two different content types for this. The first is some kind of node uh, content type where when we bring the events or uh, yeah, when we bring the events into the site, uh, it's actually stored as this type of node. So I created a content type called event. I've got a date field, uh, which is a date time uh, CCK date. Uh, I've got a location uh, just as text simply because Google Calendar allows you to import locations. Um, and I've got an event contact. This is sort of unrelated. Same with uh, field images as well. Really, all you need is a date. Uh, so you could have a title, a date, and then I've got, of course, a body for the description. So that's what my event uh, looks like. But then I've also got uh, this content type called feed. Now, this is automatically created when you enable uh, feed API node. And uh, this is a new content type. And what this is, is this is the actual feed. So I'm gonna, whenever I want to import a new iCal feed, I'm going to create a feed node, uh, which will ask me for that iCal address. And then um, it's going to create nodes out of, uh, into the event. Uh, so the feed node simply contains the feed information. The event nodes contain all of the actual event data. So let's look at... Um, Oops, let me go back. Uh, let's look at the setup for this feed. Uh, and this is the important first step that you have to do once you enable all of these. Uh, so ignore the stuff at the top there. Uh, what we want is this feed API stuff now down near the bottom. We're going to say this is a feed content type. This will be checked by default. Uh, we're going to supply the feed, the iCal feed. We're going to give it as a URL. 
Um, we're, uh, we, when we first set up this feed, it's very important to leave refresh feed on creation off uh, because otherwise it will actually create all the items before we can map them to CCK fields. So leave that off. Um, whenever uh, we, we update this feed, yes, we want it to update existing items every time the feed is refreshed. Um, this is just refresh period. How often do we want it to refresh? Do we ever want it to delete stuff? And then you're going to have this option for iCal parser. Make sure you enable this iCal parser. And then we've got our processor settings. So for this, um, do we want to enable feed API node? Do we want to create these items as nodes? Yes, we do. So enable that. And then we've got our default settings. What type of content type should it use when it creates those nodes? I've got my event one that I created chosen here. Um, and then you've got some other stuff uh, that you can set up here. And then once we're all done, we're going to save that content. So now we are all set up. So let's go uh, to our Google Calendar. And I'm going to uh, go under Share This Calendar and then to Calendar Details. And you can see that I've got an iCal address right here. So I'm going to copy this link. And then I'm going to go back to my site. And I'm going to create a feed. So I'm going to go to Node Add Feed. And I'm going to say, this is my test iCal feed. And you'll see here, this is where I put in my feed URL. I don't want to refresh on creation, remember that, um, because I'm going to have to map this uh, using Feed API Mapper. Um, and then you can uh, do your other settings here. Just make sure the iCal uh, node or the Feed API is enabled, which it should be. And then I'm going to save it. Now, at this point, because I didn't have it refresh on creation, it imported no feeds or uh, no events. That's good because now what I have to do is I have to map this uh, iCal feed to CCK fields. So here, are, this is the hard part. This is just the part to remember which ones to choose because there's so many different options here, uh, too many to choose from if you don't know what to choose. Simply choose the title. You can map to title node. That'll bring in the title of the iCal event and map it to your node title. And then go all the way to the bottom. And what you want is um, right at the bottom here, you want option v event colon. That's all you want, and you're going to map that to um, iCal v event, okay, for your date field. Do that. I happen to have a location field, so I'm going to map that. I'm going to map my description to my body, and then I'm going to update this. And then what you're going to see is uh, if I go back now and I click refresh on my feed, this is going to import all my feed items. You can see six new items were created because that's how many I had in my feed. So now let's go to my calendar and you will see that they have all been included now, including the repeating events. Now this is just a uh, standard Drupal calendar setup using views and calendar. Um, I'll go back to uh, a previous Mustard Seed media, uh, media video podcast where I uh, covered calendars. But all it did was import all of these into my feeds. And you can see that if I go to them, I've got my location. I've got my description, and I've obviously got my date because it showed on the calendar, all imported very easily. And the cool part is these will all update automatically. Every time the feed refreshes, it'll make any changes you made to your iCal feed. It'll import new events. It'll do all of that stuff automatically. Awesome system. So if you want to import um, iCal events from another calendar uh, onto your Drupal site, this is the way to do it. Very good stuff. If you have any questions, hit us up over at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast. Uh, you can find some of these links to these modules over there as well. And don't forget to check out my audio podcast over at geeksandgod.com. As always, if you're interested in supporting this podcast, you'll always find a banner at the top of the podcast uh, section of the Must Receive Media website where you can either donate or su support a specific podcast. Uh, so if you want to see this podcast keep going, frequent episodes, uh, go over there and donate a few bucks. We would appreciate it. That's it. We'll see you next week on the Must Receive Media video podcast.